This is part two of our lesson on 6-6. Six, six. We're going to look at some examples. Find the coordinates of points L, M, and N so that should be a triangle here. Triangle LMN is a dilation of, should be another triangle here, triangle PQR with a scale factor of K. Sketch both of those triangles. So we have the ordered pairs for triangle PQR. I'll use green. We're going to go for point P, negative 2, negative 1. Q would be negative 1, 0. R would be 0, negative 1. So we got this triangle. And I would label this, but if I do this for all four, it's going to get pretty messy. Now, we'll see what it looks like. There's P, Q, and R. So you're going to plot that guy. Now, you're also going to plot points L, M, and N as well, but you need to use this scale factor. Notice how our scale factor here is bigger than 1. So what that tells you is it's going to be an enlargement. This figure is going to get larger, and we're going to call it triangle LMN. And the two figures will be similar. That's the idea. So use your scale factor. Multiply all of these coordinates by 4. So we'll call this negative 8, negative 4. Point M would be negative 4, 0. And point N would be 0, negative 4. And we'll just plot those. So there's point L. Here's point M. And then here's point N. These two triangles, the green one and the yellow one, are guaranteed to be similar. So that's number one. Number two, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to plot these three points. We're going to use this scale factor. Notice how it's less than one. So we're going to shrink this figure to a smaller figure, and we're going to call it triangle LMN. So I'm going to plot these points first. This will be a blue point P. This will be our blue point Q. And then, ooh, looks like I'm up here. Yeah, it's N5. So this is a much larger triangle. We'll call that point R. Ooh, that's not a very good segment there, but I tried. Again, that's a horizontal segment and a vertical segment so that makes a right triangle. Now, if you use this scale factor, we're going to multiply all of these coordinates by 0.4. So you can multiply by 0.4 and use a calculator if you want. So when you multiply 5 with 0.4, you end up with 2. So this will be 2, and this will be negative 2. This will be negative 2. This will be 2. If you multiply 10 by 0.4, you're going to get 4. So we'll just put those coordinates in there. And I used that same light blue. I didn't really want to do that. That's my mistake. I wanted to use something different. That way it shows up a little bit better. So we'll call that the red point L. That'll be our red point M. And then here's our red point N. Notice how this is also a right triangle, and it should be because these triangles are similar. We use that scale factor. This triangle shrunk into this triangle. That's really all you have to worry about for your assignment in this section. It's really pretty simple. You might see a problem like this as well. We're going to find a scale factor. 
Let's suppose you are making your own photo stickers. Your photo is four inches by four inches. The image on the sticker is 1.1 inches by 1.1 inches. What is the scale factor of the reduction? Well, clearly the shapes are similar. Both photos are squares, four by four, 1.1 by 1.1. So you're just gonna compare corresponding sides, four to 1.1. And that may or may not reduce. I'm going to type it into my calculator. 4 divided by 1.1. I'm going to hit math, enter, enter. And it tells me that a reduced ratio, you really shouldn't have a decimal in your ratio, is 40 to 11. And that's your scale factor. So you could say something like K equals 40 over 11.